Greetings again, collectors of small 3D printed items. Today we have some Shapeways uh, airport tractors. So the things that haul stuff around on the airport apron. And as usual, I got my classic Range Rover there on a US penny for scale reference. So let's start the show. Today we're going to start with this Comet 3E tractor. It's a pretty small airport tractor, as you can see. And it's pulling a ground power unit of my own design. Okay, I do have uh, like four more comets, so I'm going to just put them all up here on the same uh, display so you can see the size differences. This next one is a Comet 4DK. Ugh, man, these things are so small, it's easy to knock them around. Okay, I'm going to assume it's called a 4DK because it holds four people. Looks like a four door, right? And the same uh, trailer, just a different color on that one. Okay, the next one coming up is a Comet 6 tractor. So it's definitely bigger. Maybe hard to tell at 1 400 scale. But uh, yeah, it's a different design entirely. You know, it's just two seats in the back, it seems. Okay, the next one is called a Comet 8. And, uh, those are pulling different trailers. Okay. And the last comet is a Comet 12, which is noticeably noticeably larger than the other ones. You might have to, <coughs> excuse me, if I had to guess, the numbers relate to how many tons it pulls, maybe. Maybe a Comet 4 can pull t 4 tons, and maybe a Comet 12 can pull 12 tons. That might explain the size, you know, variation. Of cor correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know really much of anything about airport stuff. Other than I like to have these next to my diecast airplanes in 1 400 scale. Alright, let me clear these guys out. Alright, the next one coming up is called an Eagle XM20. And uh, it's pulling a bunch of luggage dollies around. Things that they put pallets on and stuff like that. Those are all different designs. Just based off images I saw. So the XM20 is interesting. It's to two seats and it's a... Uh, open cockpit. I don't know if the 20 means 20 tons again, I have no idea. So, no roof, but it's wider than the Range Rover. Alright, let me get that guy out of here. We got a big boy coming up here. So, this is called a Goldhofer AST 1F, no, or IF 400. I think it's 1F 400. So this is meant to carry the large jumbo jets around. And uh, it literally, what it does is it lifts the tire up inside of the, the rear of the thing. So there's a bunch of mechanisms here in the middle and they open up around the, the tire of the front of, a, of an airplane. And then they surround the tire and lift it up and then they pull it around. At least that's my understanding of how these things work and why they're open back here. Uh, the next one is even bigger. It's a Goldhofer AST 1 by 1360 or 1X 1360. It's a 6x6, so six wheel drive. And so I'm guessing that thing is meant to pull the A380 around because that is the largest commercial jet uh, that's ever been made, I guess. Okay. So a little bit smaller, another Goldhofer but cooler, I think, because it's asymmetric. It's called an AST-2PX Phoenix. And so you'll see the engine there is on the right side and the cabin is on the left side. So it's an interesting one. But all three of them, you know, are uh, the kinds that lift up the wheels so they're open in the back. Or, well, they, they have doors they can close around. But yeah. This blue one's massive. I mean, compared to that, look at that Range Rover, right? That's a massive tractor. All right, let me get these guys out. All right, this next one is from the Eastern Block. We have a Tatra 815 TPL 6x6. I, I think Tatra is a Russian brand, am I correct? I think they make commercial trucks, or maybe it's Czechoslovakian or Polish. Somewhere there in East, East Europe. So, pretty big one. Looks, looks classic. 
I'm gonna leave that up there, I guess, for now. We got some modern ones now. This thing is called a TaxiBot NB. And uh, again, it's one of the, the one of the tractors that lifts up the front tire of an airplane. But my favorite one is this guy here. This is called a TaxiBot WB. I do believe these things are these last two are called taxi bots because they might actually be have the option to be robotic. I I have a feeling they could be fully automated, kind of like some farm tractors are these days. They still have a cabin, but it's a possibility that you know after they actually visually watch the loading and unloading of the the airplane tire, maybe they just press go and it just automatically drives itself. But correct me if I'm wrong again. I'm just going off and I'm assuming just based on the name. All right, but yeah, again, that's a big one. And what I like about this one is these middle wheels, they stick out. It's a different wheel to track width than the front and the rear axles. So, yeah, sorry, I can't focus on it. There we go. All right, let me clear these out. And well, now we're back to a small tractor. This is called a TMX-150. It's larger brethren is a TMX 250 and it's pulling uh, some large dollies ar around so you notice that <coughs> excuse me a lot of my tractors can pull dollies because on the bottom of them they would have a hole that corresponds to this peg so like on the bottom of this uh, you should be able to see oh, maybe this one doesn't this might be my very first one where I made it not thinking about tractor pulling stuff but you'll see it in a moment here. Uh, I'll show you one with a peg hole. Alright, uh, the next one, let's see. After the TMX250, we have the TMX450. And so this one, yes. I then started to put these peg holes. Come on, man, this camera. It's too so close. I don't think mobile phones are designed for macro showing off such small things. So yeah, you can put the trailers into that peg hole. So this is a 450, so it's a, a pretty big one, as you can see here. Okay, I'm going to assume, I'm not sure if it's the same brand or what, but this is called a TPX 250. No, I'm sorry, a TPX 200. And so again, I think this is the kind that wraps around a, the wheel of an airplane and lifts it up. Whereas the other ones, they use a tow bar. They have a, a bar that hooks up to the, the airplane but then these can also tow bar other things like trailers and stuff like that so all right that's yeah, getting a little crowded let me clear these guys out now all right so this guy spinning away is called a tug gt35 and then we have another tug coming up it's a really small one it's smaller than a regular range rover and that's called a Tug M1A. I have a suspicion that's the kind you see on like aircraft carriers and airport bases, air force bases. And this other one is definitely a military style one. It's an MR. It's called a Tug MRTT. Uh, so I think MRTT means like multi-role tank transport or something, or multi-role something troop transport. It has to do with some sort of MRTT airplanes. I think there's an Airbus called an MRTT. Okay, so relatively small tractors there. So I'm gonna pull out some uh, trailers and stuff. All right, let's uh, I got a few trailers that, that I'll pull up here. So these exist in the real world. This first one is called an AC25D. It's an air conditioning unit. So I assume what happens is when a plane is delayed at the, at the terminal, they hook this up so the thing doesn't have to run the jet engines and run, or burn out the batteries. So, because air conditioners consume a lot of power. All right. This next one is called an AS-150. It's an air start unit. So it basically jump starts the airplane from uh, what I understand from its description. Because airplanes want to be as light as possible. So you don't want to have a bunch of batteries to start the engines. This thing will hook up and, you know, it'll run off of this to start the, the engines. This next one is called a GPU Klima 400. Just the word Klima, I assume, is probably like an air conditioning unit. 
This next one is called a GPU FT99. I think that was actually hooked up to an earlier tractor. So GPU, I think, uh, ground ground power unit maybe? Is that what that stuff means? Or is that the brand? I don't know. Because this next one is a GPU. It's called a 409E cup. And actually I have a yellow one as well. So if it's an E cup, maybe it provides electricity. Because GPU, I think, might be ground power unit. But correct me if I'm wrong. And then this next one is called a Jet Start Ace 500. And it's weird. It's got a giant tank on it. I assume it starts, you know, jets, but maybe it has burns gas to do it? Maybe that tank runs a motor, like a gas-powered motor, and that creates electricity, maybe? I'm not sure. Please leave a comment again. This is a water trailer, uh, but I, I don't know. It's my own design. I just looked at the images and stuff. You know, they gotta put water onto airplanes. This is a welding tank trailer. And uh, I know they exist. This whole has three, uh, t three tanks to uh, do some gas welding. And then the last thing that I think most of us see at the airports are some luggage dollies. And so I looked at images of real ones, and I just made my own designs based on them. Yeah, open ones, closed ones. All right, there we are. Set up a quick kind of a diorama that makes no sense having so many tractors around these two airplanes. I can't remember who actually makes these two airplanes, but if you want to do a Google search for like Thai Airways, this is a uh, Airbus A320-200. So if you look up like 1400 A320-200 Thai, I bet you can find an image of that thing if you really wanted to buy it. Uh, the Simpsons vehicle there, it's a Boeing 737-300. So, again, if you look up B737-300 Simpsons, and then 1400, I'm sure you'll find out who made that diecast. I bought these so long ago, I have no clue. Uh, these are two smaller, you know, planes, obviously. Uh, the Airbus A380 would take up this whole coaster, so that's why I didn't put it up here. Alright, well I appreciate you guys watching today, and I'll see you in the next 1-400 scale uh, video. Until then, I'll catch you on the next flight.